Hello, good morning. Here's Ariane in her infamous, or should I say famous? I think it's more famous than infamous. Hey y'all, good morning. Today we are doing a fun vlog because uh, I guess you guys don't know this officially yet, but I am moving. I'm moving to Chicago in like, what's, I don't even know what to say, in less than eight weeks, which is crazy. I do feel a little bit underprepared, but it's okay. I have time to get my life together. Um, but the crazy thing is I'm going out of town next week for two weeks. Anyway, so uh, we're doing furniture shopping. I have absolutely no furniture. I'm not taking anything from my current room with me except for my work from home setup. So that's the only thing that's coming with me, plus clothes and stuff like that that you'll see in other blogs. So I'm very excited, very nervous, slightly overwhelmed, but it's okay because we're going to get there because proper proper planning proper prior planning leads to perfect perfection i don't know the phrase anyway so we're going to ikea today we're going to bob's furniture and we're going to value city bob's discount furniture actually let me get this straight but very very excited um let me get dressed and then we'll finish our chat today for some odd reason i just want to be decked down in my hbcu gear so i'll be wearing this wrinkled t-shirt and the only reason i'm wearing this is because it's cold outside so i won't be wearing just the like just a t-shirt so nobody will be able to tell it's wrinkled just you guys wrinkled t-shirt my support black colleges hoodie i got these all for my family last year we all have matching ones and then my birthday gift to myself some good american jeans these were 90 dollars, and i was excited for these because they're actually a really good fit like they fit in the waist they fit my thighs which is never a problem well, sometimes it is a problem and they fit my ankles like beautifully like, it's just a solid pair of jeans and i don't have like a good quality pair of solid jeans so very excited to wear this so let's get dressed I just realized i shouldn't just have you guys sitting here while i'm getting dressed <laughs> sure it's big um i also went furniture shopping earlier this week so we'll do a quick montage of that because it was not a successful trip at all so roll film all right, y'all, so I'm in the car. I'm wearing this cropped half top, a cami with black jeans and my Air Force Ones. And now you guys get to meet my mom. Oh, look at you, you're really gonna drive. I really don't want to. <laughs> Everyone, this is my mom. Say hello. Hello. Yeah, so, all right, where are we going first? Um, to Burm downtown Birmingham. You know how to get there? Yeah, what we'll work. All right, y'all, so the first place that we're going to is West Elm. I'm super excited. I found, I told you guys this, I found a bed that I really, really like here. And actually a couch that I like as well. So hopefully they have some of the stuff in stock so I could actually see it because I'm definitely a big visual person. But yeah, let's go inside. Angel boy. Never gonna stand a chance. Heartbreak like a sad romance. Said that you never come back again. Been three days on your back again, but I'm not your man. No, I'm not your man. I can blow your mind like whoa. Why be faithful when you got hoes? Drop top and off we go. We gon' pop off, that's how we roll. Your perfect face, not to mention. Your perfect body elegance. The way you move while you're dancing. Okay, so the best item in the store was hands down the gold mirror. It was gorgeous, beautiful. No complaints about it at all. What did you think about the store, Mom? Um, it was okay. I wouldn't be necessarily pressed to come back again, mm -hmm. but I did like all uh, the plants that had uh, the, the pot of plants with the stand. Yeah, they had a lot of. It was really nice. They had a lot of different potted plants, which is really nice. Pretty glasses, so and some different looking uh dinette sets, too. Yeah, but she was looking at that, not me. Um, so yeah, now, now I think we're gonna go to a restoration hardware, check out what they got there. I paid for 34 minutes, and actually, I'll finish this vlog when we get in the car. 
listen, no one, no one spoke to us guys when we came into the store. No one said anything actually. And I'm always very offended by that. And I'm sure many of you can assume why. I don't know. I kind of, sometimes I like being able to go into a store and shop without being harassed. Hi, what are you looking for today? Da -da -da. I agree, but I at least ask. That's my whole thing. If you don't ask, I don't know. It makes me feel some type of way. But whatever. Now on to restoration hardware. Keep with the directions that you from. I sure can. Oh, restoration. Nobody offered us any water. That's what I really wanted, some water. All right, yeah, we made it to a restoration hardware outlet. Watch quite a few videos of people have gotten things from here, so we will see. Restoration hardware is expensive from the, the jump, so I'm not expecting too much from their outlet products. Fingers crossed for something. That's all I want. Definitely a lot of couch options, but nothing, like one, the prices are a lot, but there isn't even anything that I'd be like, oh, I really, really want it. But I feel like if you're looking for like a couch or like outdoor furniture, there's like so many different options. So many. dressed and ready to go i think i'm gonna try to find myself a little snack because i'm gonna be hangry if i don't have something to eat between now and when we come back home so uh i'm gonna grab something but i'll chat with you guys from in the car oh and i'm going with my mom she's my big helper my mom and my assistant so can someone tell me why every time i fall in love it seems to be All right, guys, so we made it to Ikea. So here, specifically want to look at uh, beds, couches, coffee table. I don't think they have a coffee table that I like. And like kitchen items, like miscellaneous things, maybe some organization type things. I don't feel like I'm going to find a bed here. Just because I've looked on Ikea's website before and I just wasn't all that wild by anything. But you walked into my life and I knew right then and there I wouldn't get you off my mind. But then I looked you up and finished your words. Maybe your arms all cute and stuff. You got someone who sounds free. Why does my heart track over me? Wanting someone that I can't have, can't take it back. This feeling. All right, what do you think about the couch? Mm -hmm. And I also like the price, y'all. So yeah, that couch has been on my radar for a while. It is like completely out of stock, literally all over the US, except for like Memphis and one other place. So I don't know. We'll ask somebody and see like how long it would take, you know? And I think like this is my first apartment. I don't need a $4,000 couch. I just want a couch that I like and preferably one that's a sleeper. So we'll see. All right, guys. I'm sure most of you guys have probably heard of this mirror, the Hovet mirror. It's probably one of the most popular floor to ceiling um, mirrors. I really like it. And it's an amazing price. You normally can't find big mirrors like this for $119. If they have this in stock, I might pick it up, but I have to think about it. But I'm liking the bedroom setup. 
I think in my bedroom, I do want the floor to ceiling um, curtains. Yeah. Okay, you guys see like this lamp? I like it. I definitely want something a little bit more practical that has like actual light, but I like the concept of this. Like the sectional with the lamp hanging over it is my vision. Also, I think these are cute. I won't get these today because I don't know what I would do with them, but I do like them. They're cute and they're only $12.99. So most of my time will probably still be working from home. So I'm really trying to think about what like work from home setup I want for my space. I'm struggling. I don't know if I want it to be in my bedroom. I don't know if I want it to be in the living room. I don't know, but I am keeping my desk that I currently have, my standing desk. So yeah, but it's nice to like look around and see different options. Oh, and let me show you guys this. So this thing, the Skatis, I bought one for my room. I decided not to put it up. I still use it for my apartment. So I would like to put that up somewhere uh, near my desk. It doesn't have to be in front like how it is for this one, but I definitely do want to utilize it or almost just sell it to be honest. But it's only like $16, so I'm not gonna really make money from it. And I'm also thinking about getting a set of these Alex drawers for like storage in my closet. Like, I could definitely put a lot of makeup type stuff in here. Makeup, hygiene products. That's what I'm thinking. I think I'm a little hesitant because I don't know if that's really gonna match. The, I'm gonna say the aesthetic. I just don't know if it's gonna match the closet. And you guys haven't even seen the closet yet, but yeah, it's a, it's a, something I gotta think about. Hey guys, you see this style of plate? I believe it's called like a stone plate. I want these, not from Ikea necessarily, but I want some, I think I want black. But I, I really, really like these. Well, we left out of Ikea, no bags in hand. Um, so I, I pretty much showed you guys everything that I was interested in. Um, but nothing was like, okay, let's order this today. Let's get it today. Still need to do some thinking with things, but I do have to start making decisions, but it's good just to see things. I have pictures, I have videos. So if I say, okay, I really did like that bed at Ikea, which I didn't see any beds. Um, let me go get it. I'll know what I want. I know what color, etc. So now we're about to go into Gardner White, which is Gardner White a national thing or is it a Michigan thing? It's Michigan. Oh. Gardner White, um, we went to a Gardner White last week, but this one is four times the size, probably. So, here, I would expect to see something I like for, like, a bed and a couch, hopefully. We did see two couches that we liked last time. So, yeah, and this time, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna look and see what couches we saw last time. I wanna see if we just naturally gravitate towards them. Okay. So, yeah, it opens in about five. Hey guys, I'm really liking this one. We saw this last time we went to Garden White, but I think it's a solid couch. It's cute, it's basic. It doesn't have, it's not a sectional, so that's one thing, but it does have this ottoman, which could basically serve as a chase. So that's something to think about. And I also really like the price. No complaints about the price, so yeah. Or if I wanted to, I could get the love seat. I don't think I would though, because these are huge, but it is an option. Okay guys, so I'm kind of liking this bed. This is the Dharma queen bed. I like it. Not crazy about this color. I kind of want a gray or like a black bed, but I like the style, just the basic panel. And then it also has like this on the side. I like that. And they have a bunch of different color options. So I'm pretty sure there would be like at least like three color options that I really like, but I think this is cute. Let me show you guys the front. It's basic, cute, yeah. I think what also makes me super nervous is this having to find a um, mattress. Cause I don't know like the firmness that I want and stuff like that. Like all that stuff is so difficult to me. I don't know. A mattress is a mattress. I like them all, I think.
Apparently, my mom likes this. No. <laughs> This is what your I was gonna say, yeah, this her alley. Hey y'all, so that was a semi, I don't wanna say successful, but I left with two potential suitors. The couch, like honestly, if I got that couch, that would leave me so much room in my budget. That's like a third. It's a, it, but it, it, it's not my, it's not the couch that I want. I'll say that. I want a sectional, it's not a sectional. And then I do like the bed, the bed is cute. Um, I could see myself with that bed. So, we will see. Oh, I forgot about Bob's. We gotta go there first. Oh, because the bony's out here? Yeah. Okay. Here, but on the way. Okay, so we're gonna go to Bob's, and we're gonna go to Macy's, and then Bayou City. And it's 11.30 in the morning. All right, we're giving Bob's furniture a try. This is my mom's first time in Bob's. This is my first time in Bob's. So we'll see how this goes. I did see a bed I liked, and maybe a couch. So, we'll see. Guys, so I actually found a couch that's really pr good, nicely priced. Some say goodly priced, but it's too big. I would need like everything except for this. But I don't like how those things look. I don't know. This is life is hard. <laughs> and you can make it a sleeper. So that's what it looks like. <sighs> I was just telling my mom, I feel like I have these expectations for a couch, and it's like not there yet. Hopefully it gets there eventually, but I just, I want something that's like plush, but not like too plush. This actually isn't bad. This is and the same. The price. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, this is a really good price. It's comfortable. I don't know. And this comes in a sleeper too. Really? Okay guys, so the blue couch that I just showed you guys, they have it in gray, and I'm actually not mad at it. Reverse configuration, good prices. Yeah. Only I really wanted a one bedroom with a den, but that would mean finding a day bed. <sighs> well, it would probably be a little easier because I would just get a sofa couch, probably. But <sighs> yeah, this store actually has a lot more things than I thought it would have. So, all right, y'all. So this is actually the bed I saw online. It's just a basic black panel bed, and it also has USB outlets on the side, and it does not require box spring, which I'm cool with great price this is solid ma you have any thoughts um, no. yeah. Very nice. I like really nice price yeah Hello friends, I am feeling a little defeated only because if you guys have listened to my podcast, you know, you know that I've talked about I suck at making decisions and it's really bad when I have lots of different options and furniture shopping, you have lots of different options. Um, I'm happy that I'm finding so many things in my price range and even some things that are way below my price range but um it's kind of draining i'm kind of discouraged i'm thinking will i not be able to find what i want will i have to settle i don't know but i'm trying to stay positive i didn't tell you guys when we were at bob's furniture i found a bed 
I, if I told you guys this, I'll cut this out. But if I didn't, then I'm talking about it now. But I found a bed that is literally a third of the price of all these other beds that I've been looking for. And the bed honestly meets my standards. Like, it's cute. I like that it has USB ports. <laughs> it's such a good price. Like, such a good price. And it's in stock. <laughs> that boy is in stock. So, you know, that's a blessing <laughs> right there. But, yeah. So, right now, that bed is at the top of my list. Um, we only have one more place left to go after here. We're going to Macy's. And we don't even know if this Macy's really has a big furniture section. But, yeah. I think the couch is what's, like, beating me up. Like every couch has a flaw and it's probably, I'm just too picky. I am very picky, I know it. So, and my mom is picky too. That's probably what's also adding to it. Like I have certain things that I think I should do. She has certain things she thinks I should do. I think she tries to like leave her opinion out of there but she does raise some good points. Oh, she's coming back. She probably did not get what she needed. Hey guys, so I'm back at home. I'm back comfortable. I'm still feeling a little bit on the downside but i'm trying not to think about it too much i know that eventually it's going to work out <sighs> but it's just kind of frustrating that it's not working out now but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog of the behind the scenes of finding furniture um if i would say take anything from this learn that finding furniture is not easy i guess it depends on your style and maybe your budget too but apartment hunting well apartment hunting in general is not easy but furniture shopping is not that easy so that's it. And I just got a notification for a freaking furniture app. But um, that's all I have for you guys. I'll see you guys in my next video, whether it's a moving video or regular video. If you guys want to see more moving content, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel. There's a lot of things coming that are going to give me headaches. But I'm excited to share it with you guys because I love seeing people move. And I think like not a lot of people have moved with like no furniture. I've been seeing a lot of people who move with furniture, but not people that started from the bottom. Anyway, I'll see y'all next time. Have a great week. Bye. Also, keep me in your thoughts and prayers because I hope that I find furniture. Oh,